about the young, shall we? Uh, none of us are going to say no offence no offense to my fellow <laughs> colleagues on this panel. But you can I, x-ray me. Yeah, you can x-ray me. <laughs> Crikey. Um, I was going to make a really hilarious comment, but I decided not to. Um, but, yeah, we won't be x-raying anyone that, by the way, is the final topic that I'll be coming on to a bit later on in this programme. Should um, the government be x-raying the people that saying that they are children when they're crossing the channel? Let me know your thoughts on that. But let's talk young, shall we? Generation. Z to be specific. Um, where do you stand uh, with the young? Do you think that they are an intolerant bunch? Apparently, a new study uh, that's concluded Generation Z, by the way, that's people born after 1997. God, that makes me feel old. Uh, they are less likely to sympathise with people that they disagree with. Emma, I've got to say, there does seem to be this kind of thing in society at the moment where it's quite disconnected and it is often an age thing. Uh, lots of the young people will say basically a man can be a woman, you can be anything that you want. Uh, older people will say that's absolute nonsense. Uh, and the two don't really get on. That's a simple example, but there's many of them. Do you think Generation Z are quite illiberal, intolerant? I think that Generation Z are almost certainly very much like Generation X. My generation were... Um, disagreeing 100% with everyone who came before us. The difference is, I think now, is that we have much more shared space because of the online world. So instead of sitting in your own two pubs that might be next door to each other 20, 30 years ago, thinking completely separate thoughts, what we're doing is tweeting at each other and being exposed to how much we disagree so much more. And I think that, for me, is the, the thing that's happening People disagree with the people who came before them is not new. It's been at least since the, the, the uh, invention of the teenager in the 1950s. It's like a badge of honour to, to rebel against your parents, to rebel against the generation that came before you. So if your generation that came before you is all like, hey, let's, let's be, uh, you know, centrist dad and, and, completely like uh, liberal and agree on everything, then, yeah, the next generation is going to flip that on its head and say, no, I will not listen to anyone who disagrees with me. Personally, I think it's unpersuasive. It's not how I teach people to try and change minds when I'm talking about how to do campaigning. I, yeah, I think it's not what that how that generation is going to get what it wants, but I also don't think it's new.